Hi everybody, today we will start a new series um, that is related with um, the ESP Basic. Uh, I'm sure that uh, everybody has heard already about the ESP Basic uh, interpreter implementation for ESP8266. And um, actually uh, ESP Basic was uh, the first um, awarded project uh, on the first um, contest that uh, was done on the ESP8266.com uh, forum. So uh, <clears throat> uh, the ESP basic it's already on the uh, its third generation so now we have already ESP basic uh, 3.0 available. Um, they have solved a lot of uh, problems related with uh, existing bugs and uh, uh, it's working uh, quite nice so um, probably very very soon uh, it will become uh, uh, more mature and uh, will work um, uh, if you want uh, on the same smooth level as um, uh, the native SDK or Lua or Arduino IDEC ID coding or uh, whatever you choose to to use for your projects. Uh, one of the biggest advantages of the ESP Basic uh, are obviously so uh, I will not insist uh, too much about. Uh, if you really want to know more, please go and take a look on um, uh, ESPA266basic.com uh, and uh, why not just uh, give it a try uh, I'm, I'm sure that uh, it will be a very very nice uh, finding for you uh, for our um, projects uh, we will use a very very simple setup uh, based on uh, our uh, ESP8266 board the next evolution board uh, this one is loaded already with the uh, ESP Basic uh, 3.0 uh, firmware. Uh, it's connected as usual through the USB port. Uh, and uh, because the main target of the next tutorials will be related with the uh, I squared C and uh, how to uh, program devices connected through the um, next bus and generally through the i square c bus uh, we will use also the uh, an1 extension board uh, where we have uh, uh, quite a lot of i square c devices that uh, we can uh, play with uh, the first program that i think uh, uh, will be necessary to to uh, write and uh, use with uh, our uh, uh, boards uh, will be uh, the I square C scanner because uh, with I I square C scanner you can uh, obviously uh, detect the devices that are connected through the I square C bus and also you are able to troubleshoot in the future your boards and see what's happening if you have a, a, a faulty IC or something's going wrong on your bus. Uh, for the, the connections, uh, what I want to mention and it's something that you need to take care about, uh, it's the fact that for now in the ESP basic you are not able to define your own SDA and SCL lines. Yeah. So uh, until now uh, they are still uh, hard coded so you are forced to use the GPIO 0 and GPIO 2 for SDA and SCL. So you are not able to use the standard next bus pins yeah, that are already defined here for SDA and SCL. You need to use the uh, GPIO 0 and GPIO 2. Uh, I really hope that in the near future you we will uh, see a way to uh, define the um, 
I square C bus uh, used GPIO GPIO pins as are available in Arduino IDE or Lua or uh, uh, SDK or whatever software are you using there yeah uh, okay so the connection is very very simple uh, we have the VCC we have the ground and we have the SDA and SCL but as I said not from the standard pins but from the, the GPIO 0 and 2 uh, now let's go on the on the software side and uh, let's see how it's looking the i square c scanner the program is very very simple actually what we will do here uh, we will uh, increment the i square c address where we want to do the i square c connection from 0 to 127 because we are talking about the uh, standard i square c bus yeah so we will have the i square c uh, communication begin from the address yeah so from 1 to 127 and after that we will read back the status of this uh, i square c communication if the status is zero that means that uh, we have an uh, i square c device connected to the um, chosen address and of course if it's different uh, than zero uh, then uh, it's no device connected there or if it's one of the error codes means that something's wrong with the device but for for the beginning and uh, uh, for the sake of easy understanding now we are doing only i square c device detections only yeah so this is the piece of software that we will use uh, for the scanning let me press the run button and let's see what's happening so uh, now it will take uh, a bit of time uh, as you can see here the LED, the blue LED, it's blinking, so it's doing the scanning now, and now it's going through the addresses, so it's uh, going from one to one hundred and twenty-seven in the four cycle, and for each uh, number that it's actually a different I square C address, we'll try to connect and uh, we'll return uh, the code to see uh, if it's uh, available or not. Uh, if it will uh, finish uh, successfully and as you can see now has finished and has returned uh, some uh, answer for us uh, then uh, we can uh, check and we will see if our i square c devices are available and okay uh, for the scan as you can see has found four different i square c devices uh, these are I square C devices. Are one it's at one uh, zero twenty hexa yeah, twenty hexa, and a twenty hexa on the uh, AN one extension board. We have the uh, PCF eight five seven four eight bit uh, I/O extended port. Yeah, uh, on forty eight hexa. It's the LM75 uh, temperature sensor. Yeah, this is a standard industrial uh, temperature sensor. Yeah. On 60 hexa, we have the uh, four 12-bit uh, DAC. That it's the very thin, small IC from here. Yeah, it's an MCP4728. Yeah. It's a very, very nice four channels, 12-bit uh, resolution DAC. Yeah. And at uh, the address 68, we have the 18-bit uh, high-resolution ADC. That is actually the MCP 
three four to one so as you can see with this very 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 simple program we were able to to scan for all the available devices on the an1 board and we have detected them properly so that means that the connections are done okay we have properly select the uh, sda and scl uh, bus lines and our devices are uh, available and uh, they are uh, up and running okay so this is the uh, simplest uh, way to to scan your uh, i square c bus for devices and also you can use it in the future for troubleshooting uh, that's all for today thank you for watching and uh, if you like my videos please give me a big thumbs up see you next time